Oh my goodness, they're huge. They're like little babies before. Horn. Yeah, we take a lot of stuff for granted, guys. Like breathing, like being healthy. Like what, what, what good are your Lamborghinis now, right? What's good about your Gucci belts? You're not going anywhere. But you know what, man? Being able to be healthy, walking around, breathing, without having fucked up lungs from COVID, that is worth more than a fucking Lambo. Make, so use this time to reassess your life. You know, I am every day. I'm like, dude. So I'll tell you what happened, okay? Before we start, I'm gonna tell you what happened. So last week, I woke up and I'm like, holy fuck. So I went to this place and this place, the five days prior had like a COVID outbreak supposedly or whatever. So I got freaked out. So I went to get testing and there's fucking no places down here to get tested. The, 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 the appointments were like a week out, two weeks out. I was willing to pay 250 bucks and I found a place, 150 bucks, scheduled it for three days out. It's supposed to be one hour, one hour, right? But it turns out, dude, Yet there's huge lines, but it's a clusterfuck. Basically, testing is a clusterfuck. But there, but the worst thing is during that time, it's the unknown. Do I have COVID? Do I have coronavirus? I mean, I had all the symptoms, dude. But the thing that fucked up about the symptoms, the symptoms, the symptoms are the same symptoms as a common cold, or being hungover, or just being fucking tired, right? It's like so hyper being a hypochondriac, meaning like you know you think you have all these diseases, you try to start self-diagnosing. I, I, it turns out I ended up having a coronavirus, COVID, fucking all these weird disorders on web, on web MD. You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden I have leprosy. <laughs> I have all sorts of shit. Diabetes, <laughs> you know, fucking STDs, whatever the fuck it may be, right? I might have some sickle cell disease, even though I'm African American. You know, so that's the problem, man. You start to self-diagnose, and you, and your brain gets all fucked up. And so the worst is not knowing. So, but during that time, I was like, fuck, man. You know, you, you have these moments where you're like, oh, man, uh, I might die. Wherever the stupid may be, right? And you're like, it may be like, um... <laughs> that's a joke, Bay STD. That's a shorter trading disorder. Shorting too much, man. Short traders disorder. But, um, but during that time, like, dude, I want to change my life. I'm going to do all this shit. So basically you go through a, like a mental fucking breakdown. Cause you're like, dude, man, you're stuck indoors, all this stuff. So it's all fucked up in your head. And you know, so which leads me to what, what the topic here, but, but, but before we start, but before we start, let's follow. But before we, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's a joke guys. But before we start, um, a couple of housekeeping. We are, our two year anniversary, MIC's two year anniversary is coming up on August 17, guys, August 17. And so we're, we're planning right now, Alex and the team is planning right now. It's gonna be virtual. We are not to log in, because we cannot travel, guys. So, you know, it's gonna be available. Well, more information is going to come. We, uh, it's gonna be definitely gonna be free for annuals. And lifetimes, it would be a two-day event. Two-day event for everybody. The first day is for everybody. The second day is going to be for lifetime only. Okay, so the first day event, we're going to do live training, all that good stuff. And then the second day, it's going to be for lifetimes only. So where we do coaching and all that. So, you know, this is pretty cool, guys. We, we haven't split it up like this before. And so we decided to, like, you know, help out the lifetime guys. And so if you are interested in upgrading, talk to Tosh. I think we're planning to do it maybe just for 97 bucks or something for day one. Just something little, because it cannot be free. People do not appreciate free, but it's not something that we're gonna make money off, right? $97. We're probably, we're probably gonna do something like that, something really cheap, so that everybody can take advantage of this. So you don't have to be an MIC member. If you wanna learn about day trading, live trading, all that, Day one, 97 bucks. That's what we're thinking right now. We haven't figured out. We are still working on the agenda, but it's something ridiculously cheap like that, guys. These other guys are charging you $800, $2,000 for some stupid ass seminar shit. We just want to teach you guys 
get you guys to uh, understand, you know, MIC pro process and all that good stuff. And then the day two is where the fun starts. If you are a lifetime, you know, we do another live trading. We're gonna, you know, review your trades or whatever else. So it's gonna be freaking phenomenal, guys. Okay, that's day two, but day one is completely free. Like that we always try to do, man. Always free for the annuals and the lifetimes. And if you are monthly or if you're not MIC, just 97 bucks or something really cheap like that. Okay, guys, so. And we have the accelerator, which is the new course, Jumpstart. So if you guys learning, if you guys are having a tough time learning a trade, which is everybody, man, you want to jumpstart your day trading, talk to Tosh. Tosh will give out his number. Let me see. Yep, so we have a lot of stuff, man. A lot of these other rooms are pumping stocks and stuff, though. So, you know, everybody has a niche, guys. When I when we created MIC, it was, this was not meant to be, you know, like I'm pumping shit. I'm going to fucking take you rich overnight. No, I want you guys to learn. We talked about this today. I want you guys to learn, man. Our methods of teaching is very unorthodox. We don't pump. We don't alert these plays. But we will tell you what we're in. And we'll give you a watch list. And we'll guide you. And you will learn on your own, guys. It's very difficult at first. Not really very difficult. It's very difficult to get your mindset around the concept of what the fuck? I joined this chat room, but these guys are not pumping their plays. What the fuck? I, I want to chase. If you want to chase, go elsewhere and lose your money. If you want to learn how to day trade and be self-sufficient, guys, that's where we shine. Okay, that's just where we do different than everybody else. Everyone else is pumping their big old P&Ls and all that shit. It's like that. I've, I've been through that. I've done that. Been there, done that. It doesn't really help me. I mean, I make money. Alex makes money, we make money, it doesn't fucking matter to us, dude. Me pumping my fucking shit doesn't mean shit to me. It's more of, you know, I, I want you guys to learn. And so that's why we, we highlight the moderators, we highlight our members. So you get to see that August 17th when the moderators are giving presentations. When you will hear from Faye how she's able to, within one or two months, become consistently profitable, guys. She's making more money than her day job right now. Knock on wood. I want to jinx anything, but okay. With that in mind, let's. Uh, Alex took the day off. His computer kind of got fried, which is good, man. Whatever, whatever you need to do, guys. This is what I keep trying to tell you guys. I went through this COVID shit, right? And so my brain's all fucked up. And so not. I finally got the results yesterday. I'm negative, thank God. But at the same time, it's a relief. But at the same time, it's kind of like, like, like what the fuck, man? Okay. So now I don't have an excuse on why on why my mental state is like this. Why am I not motivated? Why am I, you know? I, it's like I wake up and there's just like very little motivation for me nowadays. Cause I've been doing this thing for a long time, man. Two decades. The, you know, it's like the same shit every day, guys. I get really bored. There's really no reason. Me making another money is not gonna really fucking change my life. And I notice myself, I'm just taking more risks because I'm just bored as fuck break the rules to see if I can come back. You know, it's just stupid shit like that. I want to realize is this, guys. We all have our limits. The limit could be physical or it could be emotional, mental, psychological, but we all have our limits, guys. Everybody has to decide for themselves. You know, when is enough enough? When should you take a break? You know, your body will tell you when to take the break, but sometimes you're like, you hear these guys say, oh, no days off. Fuck the weekends. We got sleeping is for losers. Oh, bullshit. Bullshit. I'm a big advocate of work hard, play harder. Reward yourself. You need to be able to reward yourself. Otherwise, you'll be end up like me. Like, why the fuck am I going to wake up? So I used to reward myself by going out, eating nice foods. And I gained fucking 15 pounds during the quarantine. So I've I rewarded myself way too much. And so... I burnt out, guys. Seriously, I'm burnt out. What keeps me going, motivated, is the fact that, you know, man, there are people depending on me. That is what keeps me going. When I think about other people besides myself, I cannot let them down. I cannot be a lazy guy. I cannot show up for MIC work like a month. You, you see these guys? I mean, like, dude, I, I, it, it, when you think about more than yourself, it helps guys so when I started day trading it was very tough man you can make money 
easier by going to the casino, putting everything down on one hand of blackjack. Either you win or you go home. Why waste three months of your life trying to lose your money? You're gonna lose your money within the first minute of blackjack. So I had to realize like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Is it for my family, for myself? More, more likely it's for the fact that when I did it, it was a challenge. But the challenge was rewarding that gave me freedom. And then when I started to make money, I felt good because I paid back my family's loans, their debts. And so that gave me a driving motivation. So before I even got myself a car, all that stuff, I got my mom, paid all my sister's debts. You know this whole story. But anyways, so during these times of COVID, guys, you, you're going you're gonna to be challenged like this. Because like, man, even when you're making money, it's tough to wake up sometimes. Because this, what's the point? You're like, and then when you make money, you look at another guy making more money than you. And so you go through this depression mode. So I want to talk about that. I want to talk about the fact that we all get burnt out. Corona is kicking our ass. I don't care if you think Corona exists or not. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about the fact that we're forced to be inside. Whether we like it or not, we just, just that's just the way it is. Okay. And so you, you can either use that for positive or negative, right? And so I, I force fed myself. I didn't drink much because I'm a social drinker, not a private drinker. So, but I'm, I'm, I'm a private eater. So I gained a lot of weight. So that was very bad for me too, dude. So my health declined and my brain declined and all this stuff declined. What kept me going was the fact that, hey man, there's people that is counting on me. Like today, Alex left, like his, his computer broke. And so I stepped up. You know, I posted at work. I, I didn't want to work today. My travel day, I'm, I'm burnt out, dude. I'm still sick. You know, I thought I had COVID. I had all the symptoms. So I was going through a mental roller coaster all week, right? And so sometimes you have to step back. And you know, we are blessed, guys. It's okay to take a day off. Seriously, guys, I'm going to tell you, it's okay to take a day off. It's okay to waste your money to go out somewhere and do something stupid. Not all your money, but you see what I'm saying? Just reward yourself, guys. Not many people, you know, people just staying trying to make money and say, what the fuck? This guy on Mythbusters, that Japanese guy, 49 years old, had a brain aneurysm. How sad is that? We can wake up and do all that. And so what's the point of living life, guys? If all you're doing just to accumulate stupid shit for yourself. Okay, so, so if you want to change your trading, in my opinion, you have to change your mindset. You have to stop thinking about making money to buy a Gucci belt. That doesn't fucking drive you because when you start losing, it was like fuck this shit. I'm gonna start moving to forex trading. I'm gonna be a drop shipper. I'm gonna be an Instagram model. I'm gonna be a gold digger. <laughs> Whatever the hell it may be, right? When the going gets tough, guys, which it will. Life is tough, even for me, even for Alex, even for everybody. It's like, do you want to continue? So you have to find a purpose more than yourself to continue. And in my opinion. That is how you stop yourself from revenge trading, losing your money, breaking rules, all this stuff. Because when you realize there's other people depending on you, and the pressure sucks, guys. But you know what, man? That's that's reality. Pre you always gonna have the pressure. But sometimes you need the pressure to keep yourself in check. If, if, if it was me, and there was no MIC, no Alex around, guys, this is not even about IG Live for trading anymore. I guess it's more like therapy session for everybody, including myself. If it wasn't for MIC, I'd be fucking like, fuck this shit. I don't need this. I don't got enough money. I don't give a damn. I could go trade for a couple of hours and make my money and go party. And, you know what I'm saying? But that's, but, but but the fact that I have a purpose more than just myself. This is why MIC grew so much with the help of Alex and everybody else, right? And Tosh and everybody else. And all the moderators and all the members. So, so I've been going through a lot of stuff. That's, that's why I want to share with you because... People look at me, look at it's like, oh, Bow's living a perfect life. He's making, you know, like, dude, it doesn't matter, man. Everyone has some mental stuff that's going on. And so I wanted to share you, like, this is reality, guys. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are going through this, and there's no one to talk to. And that's why MIC community is so great. I ended up talking to Faye last night about this. We share a lot of the same commonalities in terms of mental stuff. So, you know, so I, I'm like, dude, I'm going to tell everybody, it's okay, guys. Find someone. So, I mean, the community itself, guys, like MIC, I'm not, this is not meant to like promote MIC in any way, but, but it, but you need to have someone to talk to you guys. This is a very lonely life. And especially with COVID out there, with COVID out there, there's no one to talk to you. You can't go out. 
And sometimes your family, you can't talk to your family but sometimes about this shit. And so reach out to someone, guys. Reach out to someone. And being in a group environment, we are humans, guys. We are not made to be a robot in isolation. I don't give a fuck that you're learning to trade off by yourself. It's just a stupid proposition, in my opinion. Why go through the trouble of reinventing the wheel when you can just get the fucking wheel? You're learning to fucking reinvent the wheel yourself. This is not something that is new, guys. This is something that's been around for a long time. Cut to the fucking chase. I wish something like this was around when I started trading. I wouldn't have to go through all this fucking miserable shit. Maybe I wouldn't be an alcoholic. <laughs> Who the fuck knows? You know, it, it's just very lonely existence, right guys? So, MIC changed my life. And this is not talking about money. I'm talking about it just changed me. Because look, look how I was before MIC. I barely traded. I didn't need it. I, I show up to trade once a week, get drunk, go party. Basically, self-suicide, right? Because I didn't have a purpose in life. Once all your financial shit is met, it's like, what the fuck is the purpose? More money? I don't give a fuck about that anymore. You know? <laughs> you know, I, I reached to the top of what I wanted to reach. It didn't make me happy. And so, find a purpose, guys. So, so okay, before I leave, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys some tips that no one's going to talk about. We're talking about the channel trading. So, today on PRCP. PRCP. I posted this on Twitter. I've been posting less charts on Twitter because I want to focus on MIC. You know, and you know, I'm posting this stuff. I, I, I can, you know, I post a lot of charts in the past. All I've ever gotten was trolled. My charts are not the most beautiful charts, but they're realistic, man. It's a, I'm a realistic trader, guys. I'm not the fucking best trader in the world. You know, <laughs> I'm a fucking human. And you look at my charts, it's a human chart. You know, but that's how I trade. Everybody trades differently. As long as you're making money, who gives a fuck? You know, they, they don't know you, right? So don't be afraid. So, I want to talk about the PRCP trade. If you look it up on Twitter, you take a look at what my channel is. So, I love channel trading. I became very good at it because most stocks oscillate in one fucking, from one line to another guy, over and over. You can either hold it and hopefully it breaks out into the direction you like. But if it doesn't, you know, everybody trades differently, like I said, guys. So, imagine if I make three... 30 cent trades that's almost a buck that's almost a buck or i can hold it for a buck which scenario will happen more often i could scalp three 30 cent trades all day long but having a dollar gain on on a five dollar stock is a very tough trade to hold right guys so i'm just giving you guys my different take on it i'm telling you it's not the best but it's my way and so i want to give you a, a free tidbit on how to realize when a stock is about to fucking spring into action. So if you take a look at that PRCP trade, the first one, the range from the top to the bottom was very wide, very, it was a lot. And the second one, it got smaller. And the third one was like minuscule. So think of it as a spring, coiling up a spring. So when you coil up the spring, it's gonna freaking explode when you let go. And we do not know the direction it'll go. It can either go up or go down. That's where VWAP comes in. PRCP was hovering over VWAP. It was just, so when it coils like that, guys, when, it, when the channel gets smaller and smaller, it's called cons consolidation. It's like when you drop a ball and the ball starts to oscillate, bounce and bounce smaller and smaller. That's basically what stocks are doing. I relate everything back to physics, by the way, guys. And so when that happens, when it consolidates, it got rid of the buyers and the sellers. It cleaned out the stock. That's what it does. Okay, so during that time, I'm taking advantage. I'm making money when it's coiling like that. I'm, you know, you put a stop on the top of the channel. So when it, if you're shorting on the top, you stop out and vice versa on the bottom of the channel. But there's a lot of these scenarios where it oscillates all day long. Large caps, small caps, doesn't matter what it is. <clears throat> and it's up to you. How many times do you want to start channel trading this? Usually two is good. Three is, whoa. So I've made three times. I'm like, I got lucky. The fourth time I went back in, I would have lost 50 cents. Take a look at PRCP. That's because I realized the channel got tighter and tighter. And the, the key is this, guys. 
You're not, you're not only looking for the channel, how it tightens, you're looking at the direction of the bounces. Is it, is it a higher low or a lower low? If you take a look, each time it bounced down the bottom, it got a little higher and higher. The floor got higher and higher. It's like an elevator, it keeps moving up. And it keeps moving up, what's gonna happen? It's usually gonna explode up, especially when the VWAP tells you that the shorts are underwater. So simple as that, that guys, kiss. You can call it a wedge, you can call it whatever the hell you want. I've, I've never went to technical trading school. These are all by observation. So once again, guys, this is stuff I learned along the way by losing money, okay? You can avoid all that just by learning and being mentored. And so I wanted to give you that bit of advice because this, you, this happens all the time, guys. Everybody wants to do a home run stock. Everybody wants to hold this shit for a fucking home run, but they don't realize I can make three scalps and that's a home run. Let's say a dollar is a home run. I do three scalps, four scalps for, for a quarter each. And that's a fucking home run. Four base hits is a home run in baseball. You round the bases. So this, this is just a different type of trading to tell you guys. And a lot of times the boring trades like this is the ones that are safe to make money. There are a lot of these stocks out there guys, especially large caps. Those guys that are trading large caps, these work well on stocks that people don't really look at. So the algo is just moving it up and down because they're trying to match orders and those work great. You're just trying to be, you're trying to be a leech, a boring leech, okay? So each, each time I do the IG Live, I want to show you something different new because sure, everybody's talking about relative volume now and all this crap. You know, no one's talking about, you know, like if you're out here just to fucking make money, you're grinding to make money. And most of the days, I love grinding to make money. It's safer. I'm not trading the hot plays of the day. I'm not getting dumped on. I'm not getting manipulated. PRCP was actually ch chat room pump, so I, so I got to be more careful. But there are a lot of these situations where it starts to oscillate like that when no one's looking. All right, guys, before I leave, I want to bring someone on. You got to talk about anything you want, mental or or technical. So raise your hand. Do, do this raise hand thing if you want to be on. Just raise your hand if you want to be on. hand like this so uh, this is I uh, just means cool <laughs> I don't know all right mr. the first time with what kit what kit nine seven oh one two seven nine hey what's up, what's up? How you doing, man? my first time talking to you what's your name uh, my name is K uh, KIT in chat room. Uh, oh, you're, you're in MIC? Oh, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. What's yeah, your... I've been like two months now. So, how, uh, where are you from, man? And how long have you been from, trading? Give background. I'm from UK, bro. Oh, you live in UK? Yeah, I'm living in UK now. Oh, wow. Okay. Like in, in near the London area? Uh, Kind of, yeah. It's like Cambridge in Cambridge. Okay. So, how long have you been trading? Pardon? How long have you been trading? I've been using demos for a month. I keep watching MSC videos um, a lot of times. I can't even remember. And I also ask questions uh, for those moderators, especially uh, Tom Diesel. He helps me a lot. A big shout out to him, man. <laughs> He's just a good pal. Oh, yeah. Tom is awesome, man. Yeah, and just gonna prove that uh, with my small account, uh, following the strategy you guys teaching, is actually works. Um, cause, so, cause tell, so tell, 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 so, so before you start, let's talk through, let's walk through your 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 journey. So you yeah. joined, and then how, what did you learn all that? So tell everybody what what your process so, that you learned. Basically, what we uh, want to learn is, uh, at first, uh, it's like all the basics. Um, I, I don't even know what say SSI is, like was a lot of stuff. Like So you're a brand new trader. You're a brand I'm new trader. A brand new, yeah. Literally know nothing about stock. 
And due to the lockdown of COVID, I feel like I need to like find another way to um, earn money. Because um, I, I myself, I'm working as a waiter in a restaurant. And due to the COVID, I can't able to work anymore. Oh, and, wow, yeah. Yeah, kind of interest. Like I, I, I saw Alex videos say he's a day trader on YouTube. And it just kind of get me into this. Yeah. So how, what have you been learning and tell us the results and what, what, what are you um, doing right now? Because now I've been live trading for five days and there's like 80% win rate with the strategy you guys wow. teach, which is low hanging fruit. Um, so, so you're doing the low hanging fruit shorting? Um, so you're doing I'm, the low hanging fruit shorting, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. So I just follow uh, what the rules say. Uh, get like try to avoid some, you know, easy to borrow stock. Um, yeah, and I can I kind of um, cause cause the day I got the first red there, which is I lost like five hundred uh, US dollar in one trade. Um, at the time, <laughs> I, I, I I kind of uh, fear fear like losing more, and so I decided to. Cut, cut it. Um, if if I don't cut it, I, I could have lose more more than that. So, so good risk so, management. Yeah, as you can see, I'm playing it now. This is my setup. So, oh wow! So so you only two months in? Yeah, no, not nothing about stock. But after one month of learning, I start getting the the like the, the trick. Um, today I'm. This is what I play, uh, but usually I don't even know what to say. One second. So, this is the proof um, of what I, what I play. So, what what stock is that? To say scalping, right? So this oh. is what I've been doing scalping. Uh, it doesn't seem a lot to me, but when you try to accumulate them, that's a lot. So, like this is a scalp scalping. Um, it's very low risk because it's not a home run, but like you say, as they add up together, it's huge. So how'd you do today? I'm uh, doing pretty good because um, it's it's been up like five five hundred bucks. So hey, dude, that's better than your your previous job. Hopefully, you can do this every day. Yeah, because right? now I'm working as a waiter, so it's only pay like sixty bucks per day. So fuck, wow. fuck it. This is a whole week. <laughs> Cause do you, do you think should we go to uni uh, with Rick? Because I'm deciding to go to uni on uh, this um, September. Uni? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. United States? Uh, university. Oh, university. Okay. Yeah. What, what do you think about it? I think it's a great idea because you always, you know what? You can trade. Because remember, in our strategy, you don't need to trade all day long, right? Yeah. You make yeah. your money and then you go to school. Exactly. Okay, because my parents and, keep... and it, imagine it's gonna be better for you because now you make your money, you close up and make sure that the money in your pocket now that so you don't over trade. Yeah, at first I thought using the strategy is like hundred percent win rate because it just keep winning. Um, after that, I got one big loss which is four hundred dollar. I start to get like lose my confidence, and Monday and today I I try to get them back because. Monday I made uh three hundred bucks and today I made five hundred, which again uh tell me that the MSC rule actually work. So I only joined like two months, guys. Please, you, you should give it a go at least one month, and you will be very happy. Like, what? Why don't you join it early? So tell everybody how you did it. So you. The first month, you didn't even trade. You just watched I, the videos and learned? I didn't trade. I watched the video, asked questions, um, do research, and see uh, what's the best strategy that fits me. And I do demos account and see if that work. And that actually work. After that, uh, my first deposit was only 2000 US dollar. And wow. last week was the uh, first day I start my um, tr live trading. And I post it on MIC, like the first day I made like 200 something. I'm very happy because 
usually I I work the whole day, 10 hours work as a waiter. I earn 60 bucks, which is boring as hell because less, you know. This yeah. is awesome, man. And I love the fact that you're learning risk management now and you realize nothing is 100%. Yeah, exactly. Now I'm just going to size down because I find, kind of feel like, because I remember the day I lost $400 uh, was I buy 2,000 shares, which is size up. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> kind of For a small fuck, account. Fuck it up, yeah. So I, I decided to like size down again and it seems working. Seems pretty good. Hopefully I got like a 10 days um, winning streak. That's confirmed this uh, strategy is actually worked for me. That is, that is great. So the key once again is keep doing what you're doing, stick to the process, but always remember risk management. You do not let one loss wipe out your entire account, you know? Exactly. Because when, when the things start going down, because um, I sort of a long buyer, I'm not a short seller. Uh, when keep going down, it's like down 200. I was thinking, should I hold? Should I hold? And then it just keep going down. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, and you just, you just don't know what to do. It was like, bro, you're sitting on the screen and look at the thing just keep going down. It was like, fuck. It's just <laughs> stressful, man. But it's good. Like, M MSC teachers use uh, max loss. It's very important, especially you're new. That's highly recommended. Yeah, it will prevent me from blowing up my account, so. Yes. Yes, you can set your max loss to the one day of work. So it only sets you back one or two days max. Exactly, yep. yeah. It helps yeah. a lot. Like, in long run, you, you can work it out, like, 10 days. Uh, if, you, if you keep scalping for 10 days, and all of a sudden, you didn't set your max loss, you're just gone. Because they will wipe off your whole winnings, even yes. if you lose more. So, yes. I love, I love it. So that's the key, man. The key that I did figure out all these years was, you know, the max loss. Cause I, because what happens is we're all human, right? And the biggest losses of my career are usually when I'm in a big streak. Yeah. So when you're big streak, you're like hundred percent work, right? Yeah. And you're just going to ho keep holding, keep holding. And then you'll keep thinking that you will, you will get back to what, what you want. And all yes. of a sudden it just goes down. Yep, yep. So this is good, man. I'm, I'm glad that you, so the key guys, the key guys is the fact that Kit, he like, learned first. Every he time trade. if he I learn education, I, I look at the MIC chat room, like they, they, will, they will teach us uh, what to do. Like as you can see here. So this is the chat room we're using and they will share their knowledge uh, with it. Cause I, go, <laughs> I don't want to show too much. Yeah. <laughs> so you're attending the webinars and taking advantage of the calls and everything? Uh, not the webinars because I'm working at the moment uh, okay. as a part-time cashier in a takeaway shop. So this is my only day off. And I, I know that you guys say it's quite uh, the risk to trade before pre-market is very high. Because I need to work before, like after the market's open. So I have to force myself to trade before. I personally, I, personally I, I like trading pre-market. I trade yeah. when the, when the like situation's there. When Whenever we, the situation's there. Exactly. I, I like pre-market because it's quite slow. So it won't be that much big gap on, on the thing. So you've you got time to think, like plan your trade. But when you enter the market, the market's open. You just like a, a second, you just boom. I like so, that. Yeah. So the key, the key that this, uh, this is why people say pre-market trading is tough. It's because if you do not have good risk management, the moves are much quicker in pre-market. And that's exactly. how you can lose the money. But it seems like you're, you are you are very good with your risk management. So, you know, so when it goes against you, you take it off. Because in I just look at the, what I'm using, the indicators, is RSI, the Relative Strength Index. And then it works before pre-market and the pre-market open. So... Uh, when it's overbought, I'm just going to buy it with less size. And if it's keep going down, I'm just going to add on it. So hey, it's man, kind of keep, worked to keep me. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. It seems to be working. And like but, I said. You... But I, I do the, um, what, what they say, the progress. So every day, uh, if I lose a trade or win a trade, I will roll it on the book, as you can see oh, here. Oh, trade so along. I love that. That's the tickers and that's the money I made. And 
expert use these kind of strategies to trade, I was like, whoa. And those psychology, like thinking who's in the water is brilliant. So this is awesome. So the key was then, guys, Kit, Kit was studying. The key is not to just jump in and start randomly gambling. You know, you have to learn. Otherwise, you're going to lose your money. Like, to so be honest that. with you, I'm, I'm a gambler because I play poker. Like, um, <laughs> but you're capital the gambler. Yeah, but sometimes I feel like online poker is rigged. I lose a lot of money on online poker, and that's why I try to switch it from online poker to trading to see if it works for me. And hopefully it, it works, because at, at the moment, seems okay, seems all, all right. I, you know what, man? I play poker too, and the, even the best hands get beaten, you know, because no, it's I, still luck. <laughs> So I feel like so, I feel like um, live poker is easier than online poker because online poker is just it doesn't work out for me. There's because uh, you know what, man, online poker is kind of rigged because they have algos and they have computer programs that track you. Yeah, so they already, they already know your your betting style. It's ridiculous. Like I lost a lot of money on online poker, and if I got the money, uh, I was playing online poker. I tr trade it now. It would be much more than this two thousand oh, dollars. So everybody, listen to Kit, man. Forget your poker. Trading is a much yeah, better. Yeah, just, better just give up poker, man. <laughs> yep. Hey, and that's I feel awesome, like, man. Um, now seems uh, every day there's like a hundred percent uh, move, like a uh, change. So I don't know when will this music stops. Like they say, the financial crisis is about to come. So. Is it a good thing to trade in? Like, you know what, man? This is a skill that you're learning right now that will be for the rest of your life. I've been doing this for a long time, and these are the strategies that work forever. You know, the, the concepts of the lower hanging fruit, it's basically yeah. forever. It doesn't matter if it's corona or not. Because I kind of like the swing trading versus day trade. Like day trade, you just get in like a couple of minutes and then you get out, uh, which is within a day. If you... If you're a long-term investor, you, you're going to put your money into the market for maybe a couple of weeks or maybe a couple of months, which is very not that secure to me. Yep. So I but kind of like trade, trading because so. literally when you get in and then you could just get out quickly, you, you know that it's going to make money or lose money. That's it. No more bullshit. I'm, I'm going I'm to tell you something, man. The, the key to day trading is discipline. You know, the best traders are not necessarily the smartest. You don't have to be the smartest trader, guys. You just have to be the most disciplined and follow the rules. And that's, that's the key to success, trading. Like, I listened to your, your lose. Actually, when we plan the first line to, to short, and usually it will go to the second line. So just don't try to sh short the first line you put on. Yeah. So the, the, trick is to, the, the, the trick is, if, you know, man, avoid the first one. The second one usually is the better one. Cause if no, I right. got, um, if I got so much money, uh, like like you, I I just gonna scale up. But since I only have two thousand dollars, so I I need to you know, be a a bit more careful with it about sizing up. So, I I I think that's a good habit to have. Start the way you're doing. Cause I keep telling everybody right now, you're starting from no knowledge, so you're starting exactly. with, with yeah. very good habits. You're not learning all the wrong habits by trading by yourself. Because I thought you say it's, it's kind of uh, mad because because you say that you lost like hundred thousand of dollars just to learn those things and yes. we pay like not even ninety seven dollars to to get in to to see what what's your best strategy that's work out. Well, I'm glad you love it, man. I I, I so who's your tab? You have a tab? Nah, I don't have any. So, but um, <laughs> you know what's gonna it, happen? You you just became famous, so now a lot of people are going to be your chat. <laughs> no, no, that that would be great, man. Because I didn't tell my mom I play um, day trading because they they would feel like oh, stock market is gonna lose money. And now at the moment, uh, to me, um, I'm up uh, a grand. So that's fifty percent. This is yeah, this is good. Uh, just gonna keep it up and. Be more careful about sizing up. Exactly, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Go small. Work your risk management, and you got it, my friend. 
You, yeah, you've already learned. When I size up, I just gonna, I just feel panic. Um, and I just gonna cut losses quick and all the things I did after sizing up, it just doesn't make sense at all. I didn't follow my rules. So. Awesome, kid. I love hearing this, man. Uh, thank, everybody, thank you, Bao. Thank, thank you, kid. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Yeah, it's crazy. Thanks, kid. Hey, thanks. Have a good one. Room. Bye. Wow, man. That's the first time I ever talked to kid. I love talking to you. This is why I do what I do, guys. IG Live. Bring random people on. I love hearing these stories. Because we take it for granted. Look, this is an example of COVID. He is a waiter. Everything got shut down. And so he was making $60 a day. And for him to make $200 sitting and learning a skill, I mean, that's phenomenal. That's the thing that we forget, guys. Appreciate your life. And this is exactly what I was talking about in the beginning of the IG Live. About COVID, you can either use it to your advantage and assess your life and change for the better. Or you can perish in COVID. So, you know, man, I love seeing this, guys. It made me really happy and motivates me and keeps me want to keep doing this. So, thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. See you in the room, guys.